Okay, our next question. What is it? All right, the first one. You know, the Declaration of Independence declared our unalienable rights, and the Constitution preserves our unalienable rights. But what does unalienable rights mean? Does it mean that the government gives us our rights, or does it mean that we're born with our rights? Raise your hand. Oh, oh, here are the rights. He said born. Yes. It's a vet. You're a veteran. Thank you so much for your service to our country. Thank you, all of all you right. that are there. Thank you. My dad was a uh, West Pointer and uh, flew for the Air Force because back then it was Air Force Army in 1957. Okay. All right. So thank yeah. you for your service. Yes, we are born with our rights. You'll be surprised that some of your children or grandchildren, nieces and nephews may not know that we are born with our rights. They think the government gives us our rights. Okay, the next one. Oh, okay. Huh. Let's make this a show of hands. Okay, I don't know how, and then we'll just throw out a prize. <laughs> so, raise your hand if you think our form of government is a democracy. Okay, now raise your hands if you think our form of government is a republic. Yes, it's a republic! Yes! It's a democracy, that means we would have to vote for every single thing. We'd have to get up out of our chairs and go vote on the Keystone Pipeline or the budget or whatever. Uh, but as a republic, we represent, we vote for our representatives to do that for us. Now, if you're kind of confused about that, just think about the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the what? Republic. Yeah, it doesn't say I pledge allegiance to the democracy, does it? So there are things in our country that are democratic, such as voting and things like that, but our form of government is a republic.